spring flower hair. Oh, hold on, I just dropped Miles' passy and he needs that or his skin start fussy. <laughs> hey man, stop spitting out your passy. You need that. You know how you act when you don't have it out your mouth too long. <laughs> Greetings to all family again, spring flower hair, and this morning I decided I'm going to come and do a tag. I found a new um, Dolly channel today as I was surfing the YouTube, just getting a little sip of my tea. Happy Monday, if there's such a thing, of course it is. It's a blessed, beautiful Monday. We're here, we're alive, we're awake, we have our dolls. <laughs> What's there to be upset about, right? Mm -hmm. But yes, I'm here today. You spit your pasty out again, ma'am? Huh? Hey, okay, bro, you don't need to have it in. Y'all right, right now. It's getting on your flu teeth, so I'm fussing. But you better behave yourself, okay? Mama's got you. But yes, those family, I'm here today because I found a new YouTube channel through, um, I was watching a tag from... Balfour's Reborn Nursery. Hi, Bal. I call her Bal. She, 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 I love Balfour's Reborn Nursery so much. She's one of my favorite channels right now. Um, I love all the channels, but you know, you're going to have your favorites. And she's such a nice person, sweet personality, everything. I love her stories, everything. So I was watching her channel this morning and I saw a tag that she did from um, another Reborn channel called Queen Bees Babies and Stuff and the tag is Reborn Community Opinion Tag and I said I thought that was cool I said I'll do that today so hi Belle thank you for sending me to Queen Bee because I like her channel too I was watching a few of her um videos this morning after I watched the tag video so I subscribed to her channel so hi Queen Bee I think her name is Ashley hi Ashley from Queen Bee so this was her tag today so I thought I would sit and have myself a cup of tea with my little baby boy. Um, I'm saying Miles Benji. With my little baby boy Benji. I'm confusing my children. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Did that for my real kids too. My oldest son's named Kevin. And I have a daughter named Keely. And I have a my youngest son's name Khalil. And I be mixing all their names up. I'll be mixing their names right up. So <laughs> I do with my doll baby children too. <laughs> But yeah, I'm here with Benji. He keeps spitting out his passy. Being a little naughty today. But I still love him. And he smells good. Yes, so we're going to jump right into this tag. Again, it's called Reborn Community Opinion Tag. And it's from Queen Bee's Babies and Stuff. So hop on over to her channel if you haven't already. She's, she's really cool. She's cute. Her babies are sweet. Hop on over to her channel and check it out and subscribe. We need to share and spread the love. So yes, here we go. So the first question is, why did you choose this hobby? Well, I've always been a doll lover. Like many of us, we always had a, a vibe with dolls anyway. So um, after finding out that it's like a whole slew of people all around the world that still play with dolls, I had to get back in. I had to pick my babies up. And I had to jump into this hobby. Like, why wouldn't I? You know, so that's why I chose this hobby to get back into. Because, my goodness, oh man, the caliber of dolls that's out there right now. Like this lovely little one from Ashton Drake Galleries. You know, the caliber of dolls that's out right now. And just to know that it's all these people that I could play with. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Like, being on the YouTube and finding the YouTube community and finding the Instagram community has been a really nice thing for me. I've been totally enjoying it. And I'm so glad that I jumped back into this hobby. And it's kind of overtaking my other hobbies, you know, that I that I do. This one's been this one's been dominating for now. And it probably will for a little while longer. Or indefinitely. <laughs> Especially when the rest of my babies come in. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I choose this hobby. And then it says, number two, do you believe that adults that play with dolls are childish? Yes, we're a bunch of kids, man. We grin, we just play with dolls. We don't do nothing else. We play with dolls and then we go outside and jump rope. And then after that, we do some hopscotch. Yeah, we're childish. <laughs> I 
I'm just being sarcastic. No way. We're not childish. It's just another hobby. I actually made a post on my Instagram the other day saying, yes, adults play with dolls too. It's nothing wrong with that. We play with planes, trains, automobiles. My daddy, he collects all the remote control this and scale car that and all of that. Video games. You guys have heard this story already before, so definitely not. It's just something fun that we like to do. We love it. It's a, dong, it's a fun dong time. And, um, you know, after you're finished with your busy day or whatever, or you want to just have some chill time, this is what we do. We play with our babies, our cute little sweet babies. We choose dolls because we like babies. We like baby dolls, right? <laughs> so, no, definitely not. We're not childish. It's just something fun that we like to do. Number three. Do you find any of the dolls creepy? If so, which ones? Um, yeah, I do find some of the dolls creepy. Mainly the ones that are, I guess, designed to be creepy. Like the monster dolls and the demonic dolls and zombie dolls. I I can't get into those ones at all. I I could appreciate the artistry. Like if somebody paints a doll like that and it's like it looks so realistic and everything like that. But that's scary to me. They're really scary because they look... Like, they're going to do something to you, you know. They look scary to me, so I'm not into those types of dolls. They do very much creep me out, and I wouldn't want to have one. And I don't really understand the why somebody would want this. But, like I said in a different video before, to each is in. Everybody likes what they like. And, um, yeah, this would be the dolls that would creep me out. Um, three. Okay, four now, sorry. How far do you take Reborn Role Play and what's considered too far? What, in my opinion? Okay. I don't really do too much Reborn Role Play per se. Like, I haven't really made Role Play video yet, but I tend to. Like, if I have my car and stuff and then I get my other Reborns, I live on an island and there's a lot of beaches. So, yeah, I would take my dolls to the beach and just, just strictly to set them up. This would this would be something that I would do for my Instagram page and for my YouTube channel. Set them up for content, you know, and pretend like they're at the beach and playing in the sand with the buckets and stuff like that. I would I would do that. I think that's fun. I think role play with your babies on YouTube and stuff is so cute and so fun. So and I do watch a lot of role play channels and I really thoroughly enjoy them. Um. So I like them and I would actually do them. I don't really role play though. I but I you know kiss, hug, love, talk to them, act like they're real. You know I even though I know and you know that they're not. But just my little schmuck schmuck schmucks, and I kiss them and love them up. You know because they're my my love list. But yeah, um, I I think nothing's wrong with role play, play. I think role play is cool. Um, I think I'm going too far. I remember one time somebody posted something. I, I didn't. Even, I saw the title and everything where somebody made a post. Um like a baby abortion i thought that was kind of very strange and weird um i think that might be getting a little bit too far if doing real play but um yeah outside of that i don't think i need to far. if you want to pretend like your baby's got a little cold or something or it's not feeling or it's just not feeling too sharp today i think that's cute um pretending like you're getting your baby dressed up to go to nursery and stuff i think oh that's cute i think oh that stuff's cute and it's just part of the fun if that's what you feel like doing you know i think that's cool so yeah um, question five, do your friends and family support you in your hobby? Um, for the most part, yeah. Like people, my friends, my family who I live with, I immediately live with my husband and my two older sons and they're cool with it. They're cool with it. My husband, he's not like all gung ho for himself, but he supports me and it's not like, uh, but that, 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 he ain't doing none of that kind of stuff. He's, you know, comes down to my little room where I'm in right now, looks around. I think he gets a kick out of it personally. He just smiles and giggles like, girl, sis, you're really doing this right now? And I'm like, yes, I'm really doing it right now. And sometimes he'll be like, let me see what video you made. You know, so I think he like he don't mind. And when I'm laying up in the room and watching all you guys out there in Dolly World, one of the YouTube channels and stuff, he just, he just giggles and laughs. He thinks it's funny. You know, he thinks it's cute, I think. Deep down the side, I think he thinks it's cute. But... Yeah, I, I don't have nobody that's against it, so I feel I have support. And my, my boys, you know, they have that thing. Those boys, they live on video games. They're grown man. One's 28, one's um, 22. 
And everybody just does that thing, you know? Everybody still lives here, but they're still homestay. My daughter's the only one who moved out because she got married, I guess. Whenever these boys get married, they'll go along about that business. But everybody's in the own west wing, east wing, north wing, south wing, doing their own thing. So I remember just for a little story. Um, I was telling my son, I was like, son, let me I need a hundred dollars or something I said to him like that. Cause I need to get my door out. I'm gonna get my door or something I said to him like that. And he was like, What mama? Huh? You need to stop ordering them doors. But he was saying it in a giggly way. And then he was like, oh, I can't even tell you that because I be ordering all my games and stuff. So they get it. Everybody gets it. And I really appreciate that. Well, fun, happy kind of family anyway. We have fun in this house. My, my husband is into fishing. Every and every little thing fishing. So with his on his fishing thing, I'm going to listen to it. And I'm going to... Listen to him talk about it and show me things online and show me things on YouTube about fashion. So, what, what, what in each other's stuff, you know, and I appreciate that. Um, what's the next one? Is doll collecting a hobby or therapy for you? Ah, uh, good question. It's a hobby for me, but it definitely can be therapy also because... Sometimes when you're just not in the mood for anything else and you come and pick up one of your little snuggle bugs and just hold them and sniff them and pat them and just hug them and rock them and hum, it's very, very therapeutic. It really, really is, you know? It's a therapeutic thing to do, to be just like, mm -hmm, I love you so much but you're just doing that after you had a rough day or something it's therapeutic so i guess it could be a little bit of both it could be hubby and therapy but mostly hubby <laughs> so that was number six and let's see number seven are you open with the people you know outside of the community about your hobby yeah if somehow we get on the topic about it yeah i've shared it i shared it with people that's not in the community um, I have a group of friends that I told them all about it. Some of them even, um, follow me on my Instagram page and stuff. So yeah, I'm open with it. There's no shame in this game for me. No shame whatsoever. I do not care about anyone else's opinion and how they feel about me as a grown woman playing with dolls. I, I could care less. So yeah, I sure I feel no way. Like for instance, when I'm when I'm shopping down at um the thrift stores and stuff and picking up all these baby clothes, people that I know, they know I don't have no babies. So they'll be like, what you doing, girl? You know, you're getting hit. Well, somebody's having a baby and I tell them straight up. I say, oh no, these are for my dolls. And they're like, huh? And they start having a little snickle, your dolls. And then I talk to them I'm like, yeah, I'm, you know, I have dolls that, that I love you. And there are some people that already know that I do, that I've always had my girls, my vintage dolls and stuff. So they um they double like oh you're back into your dolls and all that kind of stuff you know so i have no qualms in sharing um what i do outside of the community i don't do you share your reborns on any other social media accounts other than youtube and if not why and that's question number eight um yes i do like i said uh, i'm a little base back there i sure i have an instagram page just strictly dedicated to my dolls Springs little flower buds on Instagram. So yes, and sometimes I share on Facebook, but I mainly share on Instagram. I have um, a few different Instagram accounts. So my main, like everyday regular me spring flower account. Sometimes every now and then I'll post a picture of my baby dolls because I want them like, yeah, I'm posting my, my little boy today because I just want to share him. So like I said, I don't have no qualms about sharing my babies, you know. And um, on my Instagram page, it's just, you know, all about again about the dolls that goes along with my YouTube page. And if anybody was interested and they really wanted to know more about what I'm doing with these dolls, I direct them. I direct them to my Instagram page and I direct them to my my YouTube channel to show them what I'm doing with these baby dolls. You know, so yep. Yeah. Um, Facebook. I'm just not on Facebook as much as I used to, so I don't really post that much. I'm in a couple of groups that I will post my dolls in sometimes, but outside of that, not really on Facebook too much. And number nine. How do you feel about bonding with your reborns? Well, I love to do it. My little Ash and Drake Gallery reborn and my little, my little, um, Mousy Miles Paradise Gallery one. Yeah, I, I like to bond with them. I, I like to spend time with them and get to know them 
And especially when I get new ones, I feel like I'm learning something new about them every day. I like to feel them, flow them, and just have quality time. <laughs> it might sound strange because it's like an inanimate object, but got my babies, my snookums. I like looking at the little faces. And especially when I just got a new one, I spend time with them. Yeah, I sit over with them and I hold them and rock them and play with them. Like, see, bonding time is important. Getting the feel for them and everything like that. Bonding time is very important. I think it's cool. And number 10, if you can change anything about your decision to start collecting, what would it be? Um, nothing. <laughs> I have nothing that I would want to change about my collecting or my decision to start collecting again. Nothing. Because, see, what let me back into, you get it back into my dolls is finding the community. Through a video that was on Facebook, actually. Finding the community and finding out about these um, reborn dolls. Like, I've seen reborn dolls before, but I had no idea it was this big whole community like that. I had just discovered it last year, November. So, it's not been long that I've been here. And I'm loving every second of it. And I wouldn't change a thing. I'm so, so, so glad that I found you guys. I'm so glad I found the community. And um, I'm going to enjoy it for as long as I possibly can. So, there's nothing I would, would change. If I could, like, the only thing I would do is if I could, could build on an extra room to my house and have, like, a whole entire room dedicated to my dolls, I would totally do that. Totally. But for now, they have a wall. They have like almost a whole entire wall to themselves. So they're going to be grateful for the wall. <laughs> and I'm going to be grateful for the wall too. <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't change a thing. I love it. Immensely. And I love you guys out there in the community. I really, really do. I think it is just a really fun community. Despite whatever things may go you know people have their opinions and sometimes it's a little raucous because we're human and you know sometimes we're getting bump heads but man you can't take all that on you know you just hop over that stuff just jump over it like whatever you know but i wouldn't change a thing i love it so that was the last question you guys and i just want to say thank you to queen b again Queen B, well, let me get make sure I say it right. Queen B's babies and stuff. I just want to say thank you again for coming up with this cool tag. I like it. It was a nice tag, and I'm happy that I was able to take part in it. And um, again, to to Bal, my Bal for Bal Furious Nashri for sharing the tag as well. And um, yeah, man, I really I really enjoyed it. It was a cool tag, and like I said before, it's fun finding new people to follow in in, in the doll community. So, with that being said, I would just like to say, oh, before I say bye, you guys, I have to say, I have 91 subscribers now. I'm so excited. Yay! I was looking at an old video that was, uh, I was all excited about 19 subscribers. Now the numbers are turned around from 19 to 91. I have 91 subscribers. Yay! I'm almost to 100 whole subscribers. Thank you, Reborn Community, for subscribing to my YouTube channel and liking my videos. I really, really appreciate it. So with that, I just want to say peace, love, and happy Monday. Bye-bye.